How's it going, everybody? I'm glad you're here. Happy day 15 of October. We're halfway there. That's crazy. And today we're going to be talking about Ringu, directed by Hideo Nakata and starring Nanako Matsumisha and Hiroyuki Sanada. A mysterious video has been linked to a number of deaths, and when an inquisitive journalist finds the tape and views it herself, she sets in motion a chain of events that puts her own life in danger. Now, this film is the original Japanese film that inspired the Gore Verbinski remake of The Ring, which we've already talked about on this channel, and I really love that film. So I was excited to see how it was going to be able to be justified by watching the original Japanese version. And after watching this version, I can say that this is one of the very rare original films that has an American remake that is far superior. Basically, everything in this movie was improved by the American remake that Gore Verbinski directed. There's a couple of things that this film does better, but in all honesty, even though it does do these things better, in doing these things better, it kind of creates its own problems that the 2003 remake just didn't suffer from in the first place. We'll talk about positives first. The performances in this movie from our two main characters are great. I love seeing Hiroyuki Sonata in any movie. I think he's a fantastic actor. So I was surprised to find him in this movie because I didn't think he was in it until I turned the TV on and when he popped on screen, I was happy because I loved him as an actor. Most of the other acting is really good. The child actor in this movie is not great. I think he's a little bit better in the American remake, but overall performances, nothing to complain about there. Pretty good job from, from everybody. I think that the musical score in this film is way better than the American remake. I think the score in this film contributes the most to the horror aspect. And as I said, since this movie has a couple of things that are improvements over the American remake, in doing so, it creates their own problems. And since the music in this film is the biggest reason why the fear factor is contributed so highly, it just kind of highlights how, honestly, just kind of lackluster the direction is in this movie. Because the film starts out pretty well directed, but after the 15 to 20 minute mark, it just kind of goes downhill. One of the biggest things about the American remake that really contributed to its constant atmosphere of dread and terror and sadness was the color grading. The color grading of blue and green, it really blended in with the videotape aspect of the movie. It felt like we were always constantly trapped inside this videotape. It felt like nobody was going to make it out of the movie alive. This movie doesn't really have a grade. It just kind of looks like raw footage you'd get off of a camera. And that was a little bit disappointing because there is there's scenes in this movie that don't feel intense at all that are sometimes even meant to be, whereas in the American remake, there's several scenes that aren't even meant to be intense that are still scary because of the color grading and the atmosphere and the direction. With this movie, it just kind of seems like he set up the camera where he needed it to be and just didn't give any other direction besides that because it just felt just kind of basic in all honesty. I think the pacing in this original film was a lot better than the American remake, but again, this film's about 20 minutes shorter than the, uh, than the American remake, and yes, it flies by quicker, but as a result, our main character just kind of does things because the script needs her to. She doesn't really have a lot of motivation to do anything. None of the characters in this movie really have a lot of development or motivation to them, and what I think benefited from having seen the American remake was that when this character does certain things that seem unjustified, you can look back to the American remake because the American remake is actually pretty faithful to this. It just added some things which I think is good because I think it improved on a lot. Having seen the American remake and having so much justification and development for Naomi Watts' character, you can kind of see why this main character is doing what she's doing, but it's because you've already seen the American remake, so these decisions don't feel justified in the moment since this movie came out like seven years earlier than the American one. And as I said, the directing in this film was really bland, and that doesn't really surprise me because Hideo Nakata also directed the second The Ring, the American The Ring, The Ring 2, and I haven't seen that film, but from what I've heard, it's a very big step down from even this film. So I'm just kind of wondering if he's just not that great of a director. I'm sorry, I haven't seen any of his other films, so he might be phenomenal. But from the little that I've seen, it just didn't stand out to me. As I said, the musical score adds a lot to this movie. There are several scenes that don't rely on jump scares in this film, which I respect a lot, but even though they don't rely on jump scares that much and it's meant to just be eerie on its own, there's no atmosphere, so I don't feel scared. The few points where the music actually continues into these scares and contributes to them, those are the scariest parts of the movie because the score in this movie is freaking fantastic. It reminds me a lot of the Insidious score, the violin cue that everyone knows because it's really freaking scary. It reminded me a lot of that, and that was really cool. But Besides that, I didn't really feel unsettled throughout this movie at all. Samara looks really bad. The, the few times she does show up in this movie, she just looks like there's no detail on her. She just kind of looks like a blank slate. She doesn't have lots of like weird stuff coming out of her face. She doesn't have... Her hair's way too neat. Like Her nails are bloody, I guess, but they look like rubber. She just doesn't seem intimidating when you see her in this movie. And on top of that, the, the ring dead face. In the beginning of the film, it is very frightening because it's hidden in the background a lot. And the few times where you do get to see it, it's very unsettling. But when you see somebody get killed in this movie, it is very cheesy. The editing is awful. 
in those parts. It's kind of unintentionally funny, and without spoiling the end, if you haven't seen this film or the American remake, the ending of the American remake is terrifying because of the direction and the way that the film sets it in motion. What happens in this original film is basically identical to what happens in the American remake, but the direction and the editing is really poor, and it makes what was so scary in the American remake kind of unintentionally funny here, which is very disappointing. This film also kind of set something up in the beginning that I thought was going to be a big improvement over the American remake, but then it retcons it very early on. The way that they talk about the video, the cursed video in this film, is that in the beginning of the film they say that, oh, if you stay up late one night in this very specific part of town and watch this channel, it might happen to you. As in, it's unpredictable. You don't know who's going to watch it and when. It's kind of like a fate thing. You don't have necessarily free will. You can stay up all night and hope you watch it, I guess. But for someone just casually browsing, they can see it too without having even tried. But then about 15 minutes later when the main character goes to investigate, she finds that there's just a tape anyway. Which I was like, why? You set yourself up for such a cool unpredictability portion idea that would have been way more scary and it almost made me have another flaw with the American Ringley because I was like, why didn't they do that? But then this film just retconned it anyway, so I guess it's just more of a flaw with this film than anything. In the end, this film didn't really do it for me. Um, there's some good things about it. I like some. I like most of the performances. There's some good atmosphere here and there, but I honestly feel like they got it by accident. There's a couple of really cool shots, and the musical score is fantastic. But other than that, a lot of what was meant to be scary about this film just turned out to be unintentionally funny. I'm going to give Ringu a 5 out of 10. I was pretty disappointed by this film, and I think the American remake is far superior. Not to sound like a dumb American here, but... It's just what I think. I think Gore Verbinski did a much better job directing this story, and it, and I think it lived up to its full potential in that film. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. If you've seen this film and the American remake, let me know what you think of both down in the comment section. Which one do you prefer? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next October video. We'll be over halfway there, guys, so stay tuned.